Uh, hi, welcome all. Uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to use uh, this uh, new custom properties rollout. Uh, first of all, uh, let me describe this scene. Here I have uh, gr some ground object. I will define them as an elding. And here I have uh, this uh, bricks and this rock object. I will define them as impact object. So what I want to do is to throw this rock in this wall. And uh, that's what I'm having for now. Okay. Uh, first of all, as you see, uh, since uh, both of these uh, bricks and this rock are impact object, they share um, these properties. So in this case, uh, all of them has, uh, have this dense rock material and uh, this friction and elasticity properties. So what if you want to uh, define different materials and uh, elasticity, friction or other properties for each object individually? In this case, you have to go to Options, Open Custom Properties Rollout and uh, select object. You can select one object or you can select all of them. So I will select all of them, all these objects. Uh, and then, then you have to check this, check this button, Use Custom Properties On. So after this moment, uh, this object, uh, Refi will use uh, these properties for all of these objects. Otherwise, it will assign uh, this impact object properties. So uh, for now, uh, Refi will use these properties for these bricks and uh, this impact object object properties for this rock because uh, it uh, it's, uh, hasn't uh, this use custom properties checkbox on. So uh, I will assign I will select this object. Um, Uh, set here brick material. Uh, also, I will set here iterations to 10, Voronoi uniform, and solidity to let's say 1.1.1. Okay. Uh, then I will select this object. I will use custom properties for this object and set here lead. So this, uh, this object will not be demolished uh, when I will start simulation. Okay, now also what I can do is select different objects. Let's say this one, this one, this, this. Where I think impact will be happen will happen. Okay, now you can set here death level to two, and as you see, uh, as you see here, the subject will use uh, will have death level two. Uh, while the subject will have death level 1 so uh, all of the subject will have death level 2 in this way you can assign different properties uh, for each object separately or you can select uh, simultaneously some of them and uh, change their properties at one so let's set here brick and now I will start simulation Okay. Okay, I will stop this for now.
Well, that's what we have for now. Uh, all all of these objects were impact object, but um, this object were has lead material, so it uh, cannot be demolished. Um, this object uh, has brick material and death level one, and some of this object has uh, brick material and death level two, so they were demolished two times. As you see, uh, this some of these uh, bricks uh, were demolished when they fall, like this one. So, for instance, if you don't want them to be demolished, you can delete this simulation. So you can select them and set here solidity to let's say two. So there will be. Their solidity, their solidity will be higher and they, they will not be demolished. Well, um, what another nice uh, feature of this custom properties rollout is uh, that um, uh, they are interactive. So I will check off demolition for now. Okay, I will select this ground object, uh, use custom properties, and here I will set ice. Now I will start simulation. So here you can see how this object slides down. So uh, interactive uh, means that you can change this material and get different simulation while simulation is on. Get different results while simulation is on. So as you can see now I will assign let's say concrete. As you see uh, now this object doesn't slide. If I will right click here and restart simulation, so uh, check this object. I will set ice and there start slide down. In the same way you can change uh, properties of friction and elasticity manually. So I can set here even friction to 0.1 and as you can see they start slide down all of them. I can set it higher and they, they will stop. Um, in the same way you can change elasticity properties and materials, different uh, like steel. I can set steel and I will get simulation like it is a ground object is made from steel. Okay, um, uh, what uh, another nice thing is that um, for now this object Marifi ca calculates uh, this rock's mass because here is a checkbox mass by volume and material it's on. So uh, if you want to set mass uh, manually you can check this off and now Refi will use on this mass. So that's what I have for now. Start simulation. And now, as you see, this object doesn't break as well as previously. I can set here to, uh, let's say, 50, restart simulation, say, not enough, see, 500, start again. As you see, now uh, you get completely different simulation. So I can set it even higher. Even more. So as you see, it's uh, this very easy and a quick way to set up your uh, object properties, to set them uh, as you want. So if you think that this object should slide down more, you can change these properties, select select this ground, change change its properties, and uh, set uh, this its prop this properties physical physical properties. Uh, as you like more. Uh, in the same way you can interactively change properties uh, for all selected object. So you can select them as you can see for now uh, this rock breaks them. So in the same way I can increase their mass and again I will get different simulation. Change their prop, their friction, and as you can see, they start slide down. 
increase it and they will stop slide. I can select this rock, increase its elasticity, select this ground, activate use custom properties and increase its elasticity. So now you can see that this uh, rock bounces higher. I can increase it even more. Okay. Very easy and uh, convenient way to find to set up your scene. Well, I think uh, that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial.